Today, I'm gonna to talk about an update to TD360 that I think finally makes it usable. Now, Trial Director 360 has been around for a little while now, and while overall, I like some of the upgrades that they made in transitioning from Trial Director 6 to Trial Director 360, there was one kind of bottleneck problem that I thought made it really hard for me to adopt and even try out and test in kind of real world conditions. And so now there's recently been an update to TD360 that you should be able to take if you're subscribing to Trial Director 360 that I think makes it a lot more usable and that's in the way that it ingests new documents. So let's take a look at my screen over here and here's the test case that I've been kind of building and working on in prior Trial Director 360 videos that I've made. And some of the exhibits here are pretty long. And when I originally wanted to add those exhibits to this case file, it took unbearably long. So for example, this JTX4, it's 1,624 pages. In order for me to get that PDF into Trial Director 360 and in a position where I could then uh, display it to a jury, I would have to wait for Trial Director 360 to ingest that, convert all the pages of the PDF into .png files, and then it would be able to show up in my case file. Until that process was done, it wouldn't ever show up in my case file at all. So let's say, for example, in the middle of a cross-examination, all of a sudden there's an exhibit that I didn't have, an associate from the war room or from the office emails it to me, I've downloaded it to my computer, I've put it into Trial Director 360, I've got it, except I'm still not ready to show it to the jury, I have to wait. And so that kind of nightmare scenario in my mind, where the associate's like, I emailed it to him, he has it, and I'm like, yes, I have it, but I just can't show it yet. Like that was a showstopper for me and I couldn't deal with that. And so while I've been testing and playing around a lot with Trial Director 360, I still haven't actually used it in a real trial yet. But now let's add a new exhibit and see what happens. So I'm going to hit the plus sign to add a new exhibit and I'm gonna navigate to a place where I can find that exhibit really quick. And on my desktop, I have that test folder. And in my JTX, I made an exact copy of JTX4. I called it JTX04 copy. And I'm gonna double click on that and bring it in. I'll hit next to bring it in, use whatever the file name normal conventions are, and I'll add it. And now it's added, and what we'll see is that the file is instantly added to my case file. So there it is already right away, and I can see all the different pages that are there and navigate to any one that I want to. So let's say I double click on this one to see what page 83 looks like. It takes a second, but now it's here and I can use it, and then I can then use it to publish it to a jury. Uh, how is it doing this? What's different now? So what it's doing now that's different is that instead of taking that PDF converting every single page of that multi-page PDF into PNGs before it then shows it to you. What it does is it's creating PNGs on demand. And so I just clicked on page 83. It's gonna now give me page 83. It's made the PNG. So what I'm seeing now is the PNG itself. Uh, and so the next time I come back to it, I won't have that same lag that I just saw as I was putting this together. If I go to another page, let's go to page 78 for example, I'll double click on it, it takes a second, but eventually it came up. Now in this case file, two of the pages have been converted to .pngs, the rest of them are still kind of called up on demand. So let's go back to page 83, it shows up pretty much right away. Uh, let's go to another page, let's go to 100, double click, it took a little while, but then it's there. The delay is not all that long. I don't think that it's that terribly long to wait for, but the actual exhibit is there. And let's take a look kind of underneath the hood. Let's look in the repository where the case information is being saved so that we could see it. Now we've got this last uh, exhibit. All the rest of these were made uh, just about a year ago on January 18th, 2019. This one was made January 10th, 2010. So let's look in this folder and what we have is a copy of that PDF, JTX 004-copy, and three .pngs, the pages that we looked at, 78, 83, and 100. So it's only making those PNGs that I've looked at. And in some ways, and this makes me nervous, in some ways, it makes a lot of sense. 
And so if you're just adding a bunch of exhibits at the beginning of your workflow, let's say you're a hot seater, you get brought in on the case, you get handed a hard drive with like gigabytes of data on it, you can ingest it all quickly and you're ready to work. So let's say someone wants you to sit down and already go through a dry run uh, of a witness exam, pretty much the moment you set your bags down. That's something that you can do ingesting the materials relatively quickly, which is great. The downside is then that I don't know that there's a way to, in the background, have everything convert to .png for me. And so I'm not sure that it works that way. The only way to actually get all those PNG conversions is to click on those pages. Now you're saying that doesn't make any sense. It makes sense because as you're doing your rehearsals, you're getting ready for your exams, you've got an outline, you know which pages you're gonna look at, you're double clicking and looking on those and the PNGs are being created. So anything that you've already looked at, say in rehearsal, uh, is something that's gonna pull up really, really fast, as fast as Trial Director 360 can do it. Anything that's kind of new or unusual, you could still look at it, but it'll just take that extra fraction of a second for that page to get pulled up as a PDF, and then while it's up, it's then converting it to a .png. All that part, that one file, one page at a time is getting converted in the background. It is, um, from a broad perspective, uh, from someone that if you are the type of person that makes your case file early and it never really changes all that much, this probably won't be all that life changing for you. But if it's like me where I get pulled into cases where there's constantly stuff just getting thrown at me at the last second by lots of different people, um, this is a game changer for me and it makes this a much more usable product. So I think the next time that I get sent out to a case, uh, Trial Director 360 is up on deck for the trial presentation software that I'm gonna use based on this update alone. Now there's other things in the update that I'll go over and I'll make a follow-up video for it, but I thought this one feature change in and of itself was important enough that it deserved its own video. So uh, that's all I have to say for the Trial Director 360 update for now. If you have any questions about this or any other aspects of the update, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I'd love to talk to you guys about it more down there. Uh, that's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of the video, and I will see you in the next one. <music>